Welcome back to the show, everybody. Today, I thought we'd take a look at some of the natural variations of the eastern hognose snake. The eastern hognose snake is pretty popular in the online reptile community. Everybody loves the eastern hognose snake for their dramatic antics the death feigning, the rolling over, the tongue hanging out of the mouth. But one of my favorite aspects of the eastern hognose snake is the variability of these snakes. And we'll start off by looking at this one from Texas with some nice oranges and the distinctive black neck markings. Here's a eastern hognose I found in Maryland. This one was crossing the road in the middle of the day on hot pavement and I helped him across the road. Um, this is a typical, I guess, variant you, you might find in the Eastern United States, you know, Delaware, Maryland, kind of that yellow with darker saddle markings. And here's a nice looking hognose from Oklahoma with that kind of reddish tint to it. And again, that neck marking, that long black marking on the neck. And here's a melanistic hognose from Delaware. And yes, they come in all black. This is the melanistic form. No markings at all. Some white on the chin area, the face area. But some of these guys are all black. A very neat looking snake. And a close up of the head of the same melanistic eastern hognose snake. And you can see that very pronounced rostral scale, the hog nose, if you will, where they get their name. They have this spade like scale on the tip of the nose that helps them dig through loose soil. And indeed, hognose snakes are one of the few snakes that can dig its own burrow. They dig their own nesting chamber to lay eggs. And of course, they flatten out the head defensively whenever they're threatened by a predator. They'll flatten out that skull, that jaw, and the vertebrae in the neck. Uh, the uh, rib bones in the neck will flatten out, making the snake appear larger and more threatening than it actually is. And here's one from Ohio with that, again, that defensively spread out neck area. This one, nice orange and black variant from Ohio. And here's another variant from Texas, kind of the grayish brown coloration with some visible markings. And the end of the tail curled up, which is another feature of the eastern hognose snake when in defensive mode they curl that tail up into a coil. Uh, this one from Texas. Not sure of the location on this guy, but here's another example of that melanistic. This one almost a steel gray uh, color. And here's another dark eastern hognose from Georgia. Got a little hint of some yellow there with the black markings on the neck. Spread out defensively, of course. Uh, this one from Georgia, another dark specimen. And here's another dark one from Florida. Uh, this one with the mouth wide open. And we can see there in the back the rear fangs that the hognose possesses. And something that many people don't know is the hognose snake is actually a venomous snake. They do produce venom from the Duvernoy's gland and they do have small rear fangs. Now the venom is considered harmless to humans. If you do get bit by a hognose snake and the hognose snake is able to chew its venom into you, you may have a slight reaction 
you may have some localized pain and swelling. But otherwise, the hognose snake is completely harmless. Wild specimens rarely bite. So there's a little neat fact for you if you didn't know about the venom of the hognose snake. This one from Wisconsin is more of an aberrant specimen, different from the norm, um, most likely leucistic, kind of that off-white color, uh, but interestingly enough, the black markings on the neck are still there. So that's a very unique looking eastern hognose snake. This one from Florida is uh, black and orange. Very beautiful, in my opinion. Variant of the eastern hognose snake. And from Texas, here's another one. Shades of orange, red, with the black markings on the neck. Very beautiful. Texas variation of the eastern hognose snake. And here's another beautiful variation from Kentucky. I really like these with the different shades of yellow and orange with the darker markings and contrast. Very nice looking variation from Kentucky, Eastern Hognose Snake. And here's another Eastern Hognose from New Jersey. This one I found and photographed in the Pine Barrens of Southern New Jersey. Tan, yellowish, pretty common variant. Uh, this one had rolled over to play dead, a behavior known as thanatosis. And then they kind of look up and see if the threat is still there. They give it a little peek. Um, I understand that a lot of people love this behavior. They love seeing the photos and the videos. But I'd like to point out that this does cause stress for the snake. Um, yes, that's debated in the community but to provoke these snakes purposely to perform for the camera is something that I don't support and I don't recommend but now much of the time this can't be prevented because as soon as you walk up on the snake they start their defensive act just like this one did when I walked up upon it uh, on a train track in the middle of the Pine Barrens. It just automatically rolled over and started playing dead. But I try to minimize the stress on these wild snakes as much as possible. So please don't provoke a hognose to perform for you. If it happens naturally, fine. But don't harass them. And we'll hop on over to iNaturalist, take a look at some more variations of the Eastern Hognose. And this is a baby Eastern Hognose. And most of the babies I've seen, they all look like this. They all have that brown on um, grayish pattern, coloration. Um, they all kind of look the same. And then as they get older, they'll start showing colors and change into the eventual adult coloration. Here's one from Texas showing a nice combination of gray, orange, and black. And here's a very dark one from North Carolina with barely a hint of white on the mouth area, but all glossy black melanistic specimen. Very nice looking. North Carolina. Here's another one from Texas on the darker side with some yellow highlights, tan highlights, white in between the scales there and the dark markings on the neck. Texas. And I'll leave you today with this interesting variant from Virginia. Gray with some black outlines of the, the back markings there. Very unique looking and interesting looking hognose snake. So I hope you learned something today about one of our favorite snakes, the Eastern Hognose Snake, Heterodon platyrhinos.